The Central Organization of Trade Unions, KOTU, has raised concern over the government's dalliance with the International Monetary Fund, blaming the multilateral lender as being behind the fall of the Kenya shilling, and KOTU is asking the government to end further programs with the IMF and the World Bank. NTV's Brian Mushiri with the details. It was a meeting with its affiliate unions that KOTU, through its Secretary General Francis Atuoli, blamed the IMF for introducing tough conditions to the government in order to extend more funding to Kenya, which it says has not only raised the cost of living for Kenyans, but also contributed to the depreciation of the Kenyan shilling. The other area of IMF have already sounded it. Sounded a warning. We in labor movement, we don't want to have any program with World Bank and IMF. I can tell you for free. And we are alerting government that if it listened 100% to IMF, then we would go down to this. Kotu says that the runaway corruption in the country is also a matter of concern. The other thing today, if it happened, today if the Kwanzaa government arrested two senior corrupt Kenyans and put in jail, the economy will appreciate. It will create investor confidence in this country. Atwoli also took issue with the taxation model by the Kenya Kwanzaa government. So many people have talked about high levels of taxation. The word of us is that when people are highly taxed, people resort to, doing, to applying black market system. Like now, for example, pay bills are no longer working in Kenya. To achieve recovery and future prosperity, Kotu proposes key strategies which include embracing effective and efficient stakeholder engagement in the development process and building, restoring and sustaining strong investor confidence in Kenya. Brian Mushiri, NTV, Nairobi.